Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth part of this MOOC dedicated to the fractionation section of the FCC. In the first five parts we spoke about the reaction section of the FCC and the main frac. We also did the material balance and the column. And we saw how to produce a C1 plus C2 rich gas stream as well as two cuts rich in LPG and gasoline. It's now time to speak more in details about the future of these two streams rich in LPG plus gasoline. So, we have a 89 tons per hour of a mixture of LPG plus gasoline leaving the primary absorber bottoms and 8 tons per hour after the second compression stage. The first stream contains about 20 weight percent LPG and the second stream about 50 weight percent. These two streams also contain fewer gas molecules, I mean about few weight percent of C1 plus C2. The first step consists in mixing these two liquid streams. Then, the mixture is routed to a stripper to remove the last molecules of fuel gas and H2S. This stripper is typically equipped with 30 to 40 trays. In this stripper column, we vaporize the lightest molecules of this stream with a reboiler. The heat transferred from the reboiler to the column will dictate the residual amount of H2S in the bottom streams as well as C1 plus C2 molecules. If we bring too much energy within the reboiler, we will root the C3 and therefore propylene in the overhead gas. But reversely, if the heat input is too low, there will still be fuel gas molecules in the LPG stream, and this is not what we want. So, there is an optimum, and in our case, an energy amount of about 4 gigacalories per hour is adequate to meet both objectives. As a reminder, the stripper was 89 plus 8 equals 97 tons per hour of gasoline plus LPG mixture. And we have now 95 tons per hour of gasoline plus LPG leaving the bottoms of the stripper. The difference between these two flow rates is 97 minus 95 equals 2 tons per hour. This flow will be the overhead gas of the stripper. Thus, we go from 3 to 5 tons per hour as new fuel gas rate, or plus 2 tons per hour, logic. The 95 tons per hour leaving the stripper bottoms is routed to a new column called the debutonizer. The objective of this new column is to separate the LPG from the gasoline. This column is typically equipped with 30 to 40 trays and operates at a pressure of around 9 bars. This column is equipped as any distillation of a condenser, a reflux, and a reboiler. The overhead liquid will consist in 98 weight percent of LPG and the bottom streams will be 100% gasoline, with an extremely low amount of residual LPG. An order of magnitude of energy required to achieve the separation is about 6 gigacalories per hour. We end up with 23 tons per hour of LPG and 72 tons per hour of gasoline. Before concluding on this light cuts fractionation section, it should be noted that gasoline is usually split again into two or three cuts. The total gasoline is often split into three cuts. A light cut called the LCCS for light catalytic cracked spirit, and a hard cut or MCCS, and a bottom cut, the HCCS. We will see a little bit later the properties and possible destination of these gasoline cuts. As a conclusion of this part, we see that we started from a 30 tons per hour of overhead gas flow fairly evenly distributed in fuel gas, LPG and gasoline. Note that we also add a 74 tons per hour mixture of LPG plus gasoline. The two compression stages led to condense the heavy part of the gas flow and allowed to reduce its flow down to 23 tons per hour. These 23 tons per hour have been enriched in C1 plus C2 and the primary absorber, since the gas concentration in C1 and C2 was increased to 54%, I mean plus 40 points, and 38% of LPG, I mean minus 30 points and 9% of gasoline, I mean minus 10 points. This also led to reduce the gas flow down to 8 tons per hour. 
Finally, the secondary absorber allowed to increase the fuel gas concentration in C1 plus C2 by 15 points to 78%. It also allowed to reduce the amount of LPG by 10 points down to 28% and to reduce the amount of gasoline down to 1 weight percent. This also led to a fuel gas rate decrease down to 5 tons per hour. Well, this is how we succeed in concentrating the fuel gas stream into light molecules and concentrate the LPG cut in C3 and C4. We use a series of liquid gas absorption and several distillation steps. And here we are at the end of the light cuts fractionation section. We have seen the interest of primary and secondary absorbers, as well as that of the stripper and the debutonizer. Let's move to the seventh part of this MOOC to talk about the heaviest cuts fractionation. In the meantime, do not forget to test your knowledge by answering the five questions of the quiz. You can also get a certificate if you ask for it. I also invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep you informed about the upcoming videos. See you very soon in the seventh part. Bye-bye!